Okay, question 27 is on working out the volume of a prism, okay? And here's a prism, and it's an L shape, okay? You can see the L shape here, okay? Um, to do that, what you're going to do is you want to get the area of the front, okay? So the area of the shape, and then times by how long it is. So we're going to times by 10. So you just need to get the area of the front and times by 10. So to get the area of the front here, you're going to want to chop this uh, in half. You can either chop it in half that way or chop it in half that way, okay? Um, I'm going to chop it in half uh, this way here. Okay, now the area of this rectangle is easy because it's nine long and two high. So you just do nine times two, which is 18 centimeters squared. Now this one's not quite as easy, okay? Some people might think you do seven times four. The only thing is seven's not the height of this rectangle, okay? You need to work out the height of this rectangle, this length here. Now, the whole height of the whole prism is seven and this part is two. So if this is seven, and this is two, this part here is gonna be five, okay? Because five plus two has to be seven. So this is gonna be five centimeters. So this rectangle is four across and five high. Four times five is 20 centimeters squared. So the area of the front, okay, is gonna be 20 plus 18, which is 38 centimeters squared. So we've got the area of the front, okay, which is 38 centimeters squared. You just need to times by how long it is, so volume, equals 38 times by 10, which equals 380 centimeters cubed. Remember, it's volumes for centimeters cubed. So this question is quite easy. You just need to work at the area of the front and times by how long it is.